Imagine two babies sharing one womb, but not equally. One grows stronger while the other struggles to survive. This is not a plot twist. It's the twin-twin transfusion syndrome, a rare but serious complication in monochorionic twin pregnancies. Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Lens. Today we are talking about the twin-twin transfusion syndrome or the triple TS. The twin-twin transfusion syndrome occurs in monochorionic diamniotic twins where the twins share a single placenta. Due to vascular anastomosis in the placenta, there is an imbalanced blood flow between the twins. One becomes the donor and the other recipient. Ultrasound is the gold standard for diagnosing twin-twin transfusion syndrome. On ultrasound, you can see that the donor twin becomes hypovolemic, growth-restricted, anemic, and develops oligohydromenas. The recipient twin, on the other hand, becomes hypervolemic, polycythemic, develops polycythemia, and is at risk for heart failure. In this image taken from the book record sets of ultrasound, you can see discrepancy in the fetal size and amniotic fluid volume due to the twin twin transfusion syndrome. The recipient twin A is considerably larger than the donor twin B. There is polyhydromenas in the gestational sac of twin A and severe oligohydromenas delineated by the intertwin membrane in the gestational sac of twin B. Another sonographic sign of the twin twin transfusion syndrome is the discrepancy in the distension of the urinary bladder. In this image of a different twin pregnancy shows the non-visualization of the urinary bladder in the donor twin. This image shows the urinary bladder of the recipient twin as large. So you can see there is a discrepancy between the distension of the urinary bladder between the donor and the recipient twin. This image shows the discrepancy in the amniotic fluid volume. The long axis image of the uterus reveals oligohydromenas indicated by the short arrow in the gestational sac of donor twin A with crowding of fetal parts and echoes in the amniotic fluid. The gestational sac of twin B shows polyhydromenas indicated by the long arrow. The arrowhead points towards the intertwin membrane. Now this image shows the recipient twin of a different pregnancy. It shows cardiomegaly due to high output heart failure. There is also small pericardial effusion indicated by the long arrow and soft tissue edema evidenced by the skin thickening. This is consistent with hydrops. The abdomen of the same recipient twin reveals developing ascites and soft tissue edema. So this confirms hydrops. Now let's talk about the management of the twin twin transfusion syndrome. The twin twin transfusion syndrome can be managed with amnioreduction or fetoscopic laser photocoagulation to ablate the anastomosis that has developed within the placenta. Close monitoring with serial ultrasound is also very important. Now this brings me to the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll come up with more such interesting ultrasound related content. Thank you.